All right, here we go. And we are recording. So just remember everybody that um, it records both um, the sound and the slides and your webcam. So Adam, don't pick your nose. Oh, good. Be on. I to say that during the, uh, during the recording, nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> and Elena, don't roll your eyes when I start talking because we'll catch that too, okay? All right, so virtual movement, what is it? Um, so obviously we can't have in-person practices, um, but it's still important that our um, SOMD family members, our athletes, our families, our coaches, our volunteers stay active, stay healthy, and stay connected. Those are the three big things, active, healthy, and connected. Um, so thanks to Kira's genius brain and Alexa's genius brain, um, we're going to use social media to accomplish these, th these three things through virtual movement, which is gonna be a way for athletes to come together, try fitness challenges, and stay connected with each other during this time when uh, we can't have in-person training or programs. Any questions about that before I move on? Cool, all right, so this is a distorted view of our um, Facebook page, but I know Adam, you're on it, and Elena, I know that you're on it, um, so as you're talking to athletes and um, other volunteers, uh, make sure that they join the SOMD Virtual Movement Facebook page. Um, this is where we're going to be posting a lot of our exercises, challenges, um, recipes, and that kind of stuff. One part of virtual movement, uh, which Ben is going to lead, um, but Ben hasn't led a webinar before, so that's why I'm doing this one, um, is our move meeting. So, uh, rather than, than just pre-recorded stuff that we put up on social media, um, Ben and Health Messengers and some celebrity guest coaches will host a group fitness experience every Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. Um, it'll be quick fitness. It'll last about 10 to 12 minutes so that we can get together, get moving, and get going. Um, that's kind of the, the mantra of MOVE meetings. But the whole idea is that we're coming together we're going to support each other, um, and we're going to take some time out of our, our day to do uh, some fun fitness. So what does that look like? Each, meeting, each move meeting should consist of exercises fitting into one of these three categories, flexibility, endurance, or strength. And those are the main categories, not just of move meetings, but of Fit5. Um, so if you use the Fit5 book at home or the fitness cards, you'll see that they're broken up into flexibility, endurance, and strength. So that's what we're going to be doing. Our flexibility exercises could be things like dynamic stretches, right? So um, things that get our whole body moving. Um, and as we're moving, we're stretching and we're elongating our muscles. Uh, static stretching, which would be things like uh, staying in one place and stretching. So when we do this, this would be a static stretch. This would be a static stretch. Touching our toes would be a static stretch. Um, or even something like yoga that involves our whole body um, and kind of our whole mind as well. Um, as we stretch. Endurance would be things that get our, get our heart rate up, um, make us breathe heavy. Um, so things like dancing, like Zumba, um, would be an endurance exercise, or even um, some aerobic exercises, whether we're going up and down stairs, or we are, you know, Adam, when you're on uh, your trainer, your bike, um, that's a great aerobic exercise and a great endurance exercise. Um, and the last one is strength, like when we would um, use our body weight to do push-ups or sit-ups. When we're, when we're improving our muscles um, and our muscle tone, we're getting stronger by using our own body weight or household objects um, to improve our strength. Any questions about those three areas or the types of exercises that we're going to be doing? Well, even though I'm... Uh... I'm, I'm in an apartment, so my stairs are obviously outside, but I can still do those things, yeah. Yeah, totally. And that gets us to um, a great point when we start talking about the content, right? So our move meeting content and some things to think about uh, when we're planning these. They should be 10 to 15 minutes long, right? So we're not talking like a full hour fitness class like you would take at the gym, just something easy that we can... Um, set up at home. Space. That exercises should be able to take place in a standard room in someone's home. So <clears throat> we're not going to be using 
um, like a fitness studio or go to a gym to do this kind of stuff. It's stuff that, um, you know, I could do from my basement office at my house or that uh, Ben could do from his bedroom because um, that's the it's the only room he has in his house <laughs> or that, you know, athletes can do in their basement or their living room and equipment. Um, what we don't want our athletes to have to do is to go out and buy equipment and, and buy a bike trainer like Adam has, or go out and buy, um, you know, little dumbbells and weights and that kind of stuff. Uh, we want exercises that where equipment isn't needed, but we could think creatively to include objects that people would typically find around their home. So if, if someone doesn't have, if we're going to do yoga and someone doesn't have a yoga mat, what's something that they could use around their house rather than a yoga mat? A blanket. A blanket could be one. Adam, what else could they use? Uh, you, you could try the, uh, you could try, uh, uh, um, Thinking of like an, I have an exercise mat, but uh, yep, an exercise mat. Uh, you got uh, um, uh, I'm just trying to think of some soft. Uh, I guess just if if last pinch, if they got a carpet, just get on the carpet. You know? Okay, use the carpet or even something like a beach towel. Yeah, mm -hmm. if they could, you know, lay out and use that. We could do something like that if um, we uh. You know, we can even be creative with like, if we don't have weights around the house and maybe some of our um, exercises would need weights rather than using that, maybe we're using, you know, a, a big bottle of detergent and we're doing curls with um, a Tide bottle. That's not an endorsement for Tide. Um, no, free, no free advertising on this. Um, <laughs> or a, a two gallon or a gallon bottle of milk or something like that, that we can um, use that provides some some extra weight. So we can be creative about um, objects that we would have around our home. And then with skill level, uh, we need to remember that this is going to be open to athletes of all abilities and volunteers of all abilities. Um, heck, I might even do it one time. So we got to keep it easy. Um, so we're going to try gearing our exercise plan to what we would call a medium or intermediate skill level not too easy, not too hard, just kind of middle of the road. But as we're doing it, we can try and think of changes to our exercises that would make it more challenging for advanced participants or help beginner athletes find greater success. So um, as we're leading these, um, you know, if we're doing uh, jumping jacks or something, we might tell our, you know, if, if this is too easy at the pace we're going, try going faster. If you're having a hard time keeping up with us, go slower, that's okay. Just, you know, do, do the motion that we're doing. So for a 10 to 15 minute long exercise, everything's going to follow the same format. We're going to start with an introduction. So hi, my name is Adam Hayes and I'm an athlete from Frederick County. The sports I do are cycling, soccer, swimming, tennis, uh, skiing, cycling, 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 skiing. Because I'm out. Cycling, 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 yeah. more cycling. <laughs> um, and then today's exercises, we're going to focus on either strength, endurance, or flexibility. We're going to do a one to two minute warm up where we're doing some, you know, warm up stretches. Maybe we're getting our heart rate up a little bit if we're doing um, endurance, march in place, jog in place, that kind of stuff. Then we'll do what we call fitness content. So four to eight exercises or steps to a routine. Um, if, you know, Elena, you would want to teach a Zumba class, maybe we're going to learn a full like Zumba routine, but we got to break it up into four or eight different steps. So we're getting our arms moving and then we're getting our legs moving and then our hips don't lie. Uh, so we'll do that too. Um, so all to put together a routine. Um, and then after we get that together, we don't just want to stop. We need to do a cool down and a, a closing. So that takes about you know, one to two minutes as well. So total where we are is about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So again, it's a quick way for athletes to get together, do some exercises and um, get on with the rest of their day. So how can you be involved? We're looking for our health messengers. Elena, Adam, we're looking at you and, and help your, um, you know, fellow athletes sign up for this. We'd love 
to have move meeting coaches besides Ben and Sam Boyd, our volunteer director, who's going to lead a yoga session and Tyler, even though he has uh, more muscles than he knows what to do with. Yeah. Um, so we want you guys to help us lead our um, fitness program. So this is what it would mean to be a move meeting coach. You would lead at least one move meeting session for a live group. Um, all of them will take place Fridays at noon. So you have to be free on Friday at noon. Okay. You would use Fit5 materials and other resources to develop a 10 to 15 minute group fitness lesson, just like we talked about following that outline, right? Introduction, warm up, exercise, cool down, and we're done. You would work with Ben, Ben Wave, so everybody knows your face. There we go, there's Ben. Um, to send him a class plan no later than one week in advance of your scheduled move meeting. And that way, Ben can see what, you, what you're thinking and um, – oh, hi, Ginger. Sorry. I got a, I got a chat message. Carmen. Yeah, actually, it's, it's Carmen, but I'm here too. <laughs> hey, Carmen. I didn't scroll down on my, on my video feed, so I didn't see your face. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Um, yes, the group fitness will be on Fridays, but we can maybe work with Ben and Kira to do some recordings. If you have um, an exercise that you would want to lead, we have other content that we can use um, group exercise for. So um, for the live stuff, that's going to take place Fridays at noon. But again, if you have other ideas, we can work with Ben and Kira to do some pre-recorded stuff and still send that out and get people, get people moving. Um, we're going to have a lot of few months to fill. Uh, so the more we have, the better. So we're going to use fit five materials to put that uh, together. We're going to send Ben the lesson plan, um, no later than one week in advance. Um, it's really important. And Elena, Adam and Carmen, I can see that you do. Um, but it's important that you have access to a computer with reliable internet and a webcam. It's really hard to lead a video fitness class if you don't have video. So we want to make sure that people can see you do it. Um, and you, you need to provide your own equipment, including music, to run your move meeting. Um, and obviously, we want to make sure that um, the music is appropriate. But, you know, because our SOMD staff can't go to the office or do in, do in-person meetings. We're not going to be able to drop off, you know, towels or resistant resistance bands or anything like that to, to houses. So we, that's why we're kind of using whatever we have around the house. And uh, you have to do one practice with Ben before your scheduled class, probably like Wednesday or Thursday before um, we go live. Because remember, we're, <coughs> we're not just, doing the exercise, but I think one of the most important things is that we have to explain the exercise too, right? So if we're going to do um, countertop push-ups, right? So we're going to stand and we're going to do push-ups against our countertop. We're not just going to say, all right, here we go, count them with me, one, two, three, four, five. But we're going to say, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, be this far away from the counter, extend your arms, now push up and back um, uh, to do the exercise. So we need to not only think about the exercises that we're doing, but the steps that we need to explain to people um, to do that exercise. And that's where that practice with Ben is gonna be really important. So after this, Ben is gonna be sending out um, a um, online form that you can sign up uh, to lead a move meeting class, okay? Um, and so what you're gonna do is it's gonna, it's online, it's a Google form. You can go on and tell us, this is the type of class I wanna lead, this is the theme. Yes, I have access to all this stuff. And these are the dates when I would be available to do it. So um, it's pretty straightforward um, in order to do. And the most important thing, if you have any questions, then, Ben, wave again so we know which one of you. There we go. Uh, Ben's going to be your go-to guy for anything and everything that's move meeting related. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Does anybody have any questions about what we're looking for with move meetings? Would music have to be in each one or no? 
No, I, I, that's a great question, Elena. So Elena asked if music has to be in each one. Um, no, you don't have to have music at all. Um, so if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. I like working out with music, so I, mine probably will, okay. but no need to, no need to do it. I, like I do it. have a Go ahead, Elena. Yeah, Carmen. It's me. Oh, hey, Carmen. Yeah. Hi, Adam. Um, can I add to something what Jeff said? Sure. Um, I know that we're talking about exercising, like doing at home, like a, um, a Zoom that we're doing right now. Um, what about um, if we have materials at home mm -hmm. that, that we have, that what, what, what anyone has, um, do, do we have to do like, um, everyone involved of the exercise um like it was like it you say about the um push-up of the the countertops yep but what about the other thing that we have like when you think at home that you do like do together yeah that's a great question carmen and so i think yeah if you have weights that you have at home that you um want to incorporate into your exercise i think that's okay but what I would ask that you do is be creative. So if you have, I don't know, a five pound weight and you're doing curls, right? Maybe you can say, if you don't have a five pound weight at home, that's okay. Maybe you get, that's when I said like a, a, a bottle. A half of, gallon of milk. Or a, a half gallon of milk or, um, you know, a, a sack of flour and we're good. <laughs> you know, kind of stuff. So you could, and I think it could be really fun to think of some of the things that, because I don't have, uh, believe it or not, I don't have any exercise equipment at my house, hmm. this much exercise equipment. I know no one can believe that because I'm so fit and trim. Um, but like when you start to do, when you start to lead exercises, I'm going to have to go around my house and like, I don't have a yoga mat, so I'll use a beach towel. And I don't even think I have a, gallon of milk at this time so i'm gonna have to use detergent and <laughs> we just we just we just can't do any exercises where toilet paper is required because that is a <laughs> right? cookbook mm, a cookbook that's a mm. <coughs> yeah all that kind of stuff will just be fun so yeah J uh, carmen you can add whatever equipment that you think but let's make sure that everybody can do the exercises with either ideas for other equipment they can use or making it an exercise that um, the equipment only helps but it's not required. Okay. I know you said about the weight but what happens if you use a hammer to change these weights? Yeah you could you could do a hammer. Um, really? Yeah any, anything that people might have around their house. But so I'm, I'm assuming you're thinking about leading a dance kind of a thing like a cool. little yeah uh, yeah. Okay. So most of that, you really don't have any equipment. No, I meant, I meant like, um, like, like, like to do like, like exercises at home. Like right. Not only the bus dance, but I meant, right. I meant like other things, like what Jeff just said. Yeah. A counting top, the push ups, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like doing something. I know that a beach towel is a good thing, but it can be, can be slippery yeah that's but, true um because you don't know what you have at your house um because right but a lot of people have a rug and that wouldn't yes be so that's a good that one. would be okay yep do i need that for your dance carmen do i need a certain outfit or can i wear whatever <laughs> yes, you have to have a rainbow sprinkle uh unitard sort of like richard simmons you have no to problem. have that no problem <laughs> With with your rainbow wig. <laughs> if you don't have you, you that, say that you say that like I shouldn't have that already. Right. <laughs> if, if you don't have that kind of stuff, you, you can buy it on Amazon. That's right. You can buy it on Amazon. Okay. I don't even need to buy it. It's just something that, something I, that actually, I have from a grad school day is there, Jim. <laughs> actually, we have a whole wardrobe of crazy wigs for stuff that Carmen has done in the past. So she has it up on the top of her bookshelf, a whole like six feet worth of I don't wigs need a wig. Stands. <laughs> because you don't have to. Carmen, can you share some wigs with me? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. It, it, if they can fit you. Right. <laughs> Do you want so, the Elsa wig or the green and red one? Right. All of the above. <laughs>
So Elena had an idea. She said, I think you could use books and suitcase and use them as weights. So yeah, books, suitcases, anything like that, that would be really good. Adam, I think you had a question. Did you, did you have something to say or a comment? Oh, Mr. Uh, oh, hey. No, no, I uh, didn't. I, uh, I'm trying to think, but no. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I have a, a quick question. So yes, I understand that normally uh, what we, what you would do is you would explain an exercise and then do it. Mm -hmm. But the LeBlast curriculum, which is what Carmen's been trained in and that I think that she would probably like to do is very much like um, what we've done, like at the polar bear plunge. And, you know, you've seen her dance team perform mm -hmm. and basically they just start doing stuff and it's repetitive. Yeah. And so, you know, they might say, okay, step together, step touch, and then they'll just do it like 20 times. Perfect. And so the first few times they may not get it, but it doesn't require a huge amount of verbal explanation, but you kind of can't do that. You can't explain five moves and then turn the music on. You kind of do it the first time and you assume that maybe people don't do it perfectly the first time go round, but by the time yeah. the second repetition comes around, they're doing it pretty well. I, yeah, I think that's great. Okay, so you wouldn't object to something like that. I'm just, uh, because this is a little different than I think, you know, five reps of a particular exercise, yeah. it's just different. Well, I, I wouldn't object, but that new Ben guy, he's pretty, uh. so I don't know if he'd let you do that. <laughs> oh, you, have to, you have to get past Ben. Okay, <laughs> hi Ben. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Did you actually see, were you there at like the corporate plunge or the super plunge? Uh, I was actually not hired then, so I did not see any of that in person, no. Okay. <laughs> I just, I was wondering if you had actually seen us uh, in action, because <laughs> it would make a little more sense if you had seen that, but. It, yeah, I, I think it's great. I think anything really ginger, the whole, like if there is specific you know, exercises or like yoga moves that people need to be taught. I think that's great. But if we're doing something where it's just about moving for 10 or 15 minutes yep. and there's no real instruction, it's just kind of watch and follow what I do. I think that's great. And honestly, the, the trick is to get them to move for 10 or 15 minutes. And exactly. you know, what if they don't want to do our moves, they want to do something else. It's like, hey, go for it. <laughs> the trick is to get me to move for 15 minutes. That's the bigger one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I obviously don't have that much room in my apartment, so, uh, like, I guess, should we say, uh, if you can do this in your, in an area uh, where you live or whatever, you yeah. know? Exactly, yeah, and so um, I think this Friday, Ben's going to do one, mm -hmm. and he's going to lead a session for us using the Fit Five cards, and I haven't seen it, but I think Ben's room is pretty small. Because he's trying to figure out where to put the computer and where he can exercise. And Ben's like eight feet tall, too. So he doesn't fit in a lot of spaces. So I think if, ben, if Ben's going to be able to do his exercises in his room, yeah. I think everybody's going to be able to. Adam, your apartment's way bigger than Ben's room. Yeah. Well, currently I have my uh, bike uh, trainer set up in the middle of my uh, in my. Uh, on my floor right now, so I just have to push that to the side. So yeah, or you know, it's it's the kind of thing where people are going to use the space that they have. So if it means that they can't do every exercise or they have to modify it a little bit to do it in a space that fits, then that's great. The whole idea is we're coming together, we're exercising together, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. Cool. Cool. So you're going to look out for an email from Ben if you want to be a, a volunteer coach, one of our move meeting coaches. So you can get signed up for that and that'll be great. Um, you can start thinking about if you do want to do it, um, your, your lesson plans and, and whether you want to do endurance, you want to do flexibility or you want to do strength. And then also uh, make sure you join that Facebook group. I think everybody here has, um, so that's great, but make sure you're posting on it, telling your friends about it, tell your friends about, um, you know, this, the fitness coach opportunity, the move meeting coach, so that we can get uh, more athletes doing it. And the cool thing is, um, in addition to the health messengers, we have some college coaches um, who have said that they're going to do be our celebrity guest coaches for some of the week. So um, it's going to be a good group of different people every single week. So 
Um, if you're available on Fridays, definitely something to sign in, check out what we're doing, um, and uh, see who our coach is going to be that week. Okay. Maybe to Kira, maybe we should um, give clues, and part of the competition will be who our who our secret guest coach is going to be each week. Yeah, just guessing the guessing the coach. I oh, think that would be fun. really Hi, fun. Mystery coach. Yeah. And I, we, I don't know. Do you do you watch uh, the Masked Singer? You could do something like that, where you have these uh, really crazy, obscure clues, you know, that... <laughs> maybe, so... Apparently not about that. Yeah. Ben, maybe we should do that on the um, Google form. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe put in a section for tell us three interesting facts about you that you don't think anybody else would know. Okay. Right? And so that way we have some things to post about you know, our, our mystery coach rode an elephant across South Africa. <laughs> How about a dolphin? <laughs> or I have another su su suggestion. Yes, ma'am. Um, I know we're talking about, about dance and mass singers. I, um, I don't know if you guys have Xboxes, um, like Just Dance, because I have a lot of games of Just Dance. I, I don't know if you guys have like Just Dance things because that's also an, an exercise as well because um, but I think they're, they're trying to do it so that people don't have to have any equipment. It's just, you know, if they bring up their computer, they're going to have a screen and you're just going to lead them through something. So doing like a LeBlast class would be good or doing, you know, a set of five exercises would be, that's what you're looking at, not, you know, but it would be a fun thing maybe on the web on the um, Facebook page to say anybody who has, you know, just dance, whatever, here's my user ID, let's do a competition, not on Friday, you know, not the same time as this. That's a good idea. But that could be fun. But but it's not going to be this. It's just going to be, hey, people, you know, come exercise with me. We're going to do a competition on just dance. Maybe I can post it on my Instagram because I know Kara's on there. Sure. But I think the Facebook sure. is what they're considering yeah. their main source of well, information. Yeah. Facebook, yes. But mm -hmm. I was hoping I would put it on Instagram because I know all the people that would join. Yeah. Cool. So is everybody ready to start exercising? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I am ready to get off my air during the week. So I think that's going to be good. I know a bunch of our staff um, is going to sign up and do it with us. So I think it's, I think it's going to be great. Um, the other thing that we're working with um, Sam, our volunteer director on is recruiting what we'll call unified um, fitness partners. So, you know, like right now we, we were recruiting a lot of volunteers for summer games and other events um, that we, we don't need right now in that form, but we're hoping that uh, because so many people are going to be at home, they can join uh, the fitness group, even if they're not Special Olympics athletes, get moving um, and get to know our, our athletes a little bit. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. So thanks uh, for taking some time. I am uh, going to send this recording to everybody. So make sure um, this will, you'll see this email. I'm going to send it to all the health messengers um, on my list so that everybody can watch it. And then um, that will also have the link to the, um, the online form that you can fill out to start signing up for your classes. So um, thanks for being here tonight. It was great to see everybody. I haven't, this was like the first social interaction I've had in a few days, so that was pretty good. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well, hang in there, and uh, we'll see everybody soon, okay? Can I make one other suggestion? Yes, ma'am. Can ma you put up a set of um, Facebook events because events are really easy for people to share. I'm going to defer to Kira on that because I barely have Facebook. So okay. <laughs> I had you to think? look up my password for Facebook when I had. <laughs> That's how bad I am. Oh dear. <laughs> are you thinking um, events for like the class? Yeah, for okay. that or or whatever. It's just an event is easier to share than than a lot of other things. 
So if you yeah. just share that with all of your friends, then, you know, it sort of gets passed around and people can sign up for it that way. Yeah. And we'll be doing uh, weekly posts on Thursdays as reminders too in that group mm -hmm. as well. So those can be shared too. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Have a good rest of the night. Um, oh, the other thing to think about, I need, I need your brainstorm powers and we don't have to talk about it tonight, but you can email me back with some information. I am a big fan of the Food Network and the Cooking Channel, and I want to figure out how to do um, what I'm loosely calling quarantine cuisine, uh, <laughs> where we cook. Um, we do like a social media cooking show where we cook um, healthy snacks, and maybe we do something like Chop, where we have a, a mystery ingredient that we challenge people to use each week and come up with recipes. So, Start thinking about something that we can do with cooking because we're going to do, we're going to have some good physical activity. We're going to have some good physical challenges. And I think that nutrition piece is the next one. So give that a thought. Email me if you have any ideas and we will see everybody soon. Thanks everybody. Awesome. See ya.